What? Hey everybody, welcome to the Dano channel. I am Dano and it is Force Friday. I'm back with yet another Force Friday video. More Star Wars. I love Star Wars so much. I got all the cool toys. I went out for Force Friday, to, to went to Toys R Us at midnight and got a bunch of cool stuff. And I've just been having a great time unboxing these things. It's really awesome. I went through some of the Micro Machines play sets. In fact, I started with an old Micro Machines playset for the Stormtrooper slash Death Star. Way over there, you can see him. So go check the other videos out if you haven't yet. There's a lot of Force Friday to go. In fact, I've got one video right now that I'm doing just on these little Micro Machines minifigures and blind packs because I've done some of the play sets and the play sets only come with one figure and one vehicle. So you gotta buy more. You can't just have those. You gotta get the other play sets. So I went ahead and hooked myself up with, this is a first order TIE Fighter Micro Machines playset. Now this comes with the Millennium Falcon and two TIE Fighters. Does it tell me which ones? It doesn't say which ones, but I can tell you one of them is just the first order like black TIE Fighter. Uh, the other one is a First Order Special Forces, it does tell me, First Order Special Forces TIE Fighter, and I think that might be the broken one. It's really cool because one of these is like super battle damage. So let's get the GoPro out and you guys can see the unboxing happen up close and personal. You guys, it'll be like you're there opening the box with me. Let's hit record. Cool, are right, you guys ready? You ready? Let's unbox it. Let's see how it opens. Ooh, so there's like tape over the top, so it does not make for a clean unboxing, unless you go from the bottom. So that's pro unboxing tip right there, open from the bottom. All right, let's put this off to the side here. Let's pop out the Millennium Falcon. That is really cool. It looks like the satellite dish has changed shape. I don't remember it being square. Oh, because it got knocked off during the Death Star 2 battle, if I remember correctly. But it used to be a round satellite dish. So I think it used to be a round. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. Leave a comment down there. But I thought the Millennium Falcon had a um, round satellite dish, and it looks like this time around it is a square. So that's kind of a cool touch, if it is indeed different. If not, then I'm just crazy and making stuff up. It's been a little while since I've watched the movies. But I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna spend the rest of the day just watching all the Star Wars movies. Look at that. It's like a battle-damaged TIE Fighter. And it's not just like a little damage. It is way damaged. It is completely just like wrecked. That, oops, sorry. That's really cool. I like that a lot, and there's just a regular TIE Fighter. Notice there's no red marking on there, but one of them has this red marking, and I think there's something special about that. And I'll find out later in another toy that kind of hints at some spoilers, but I don't know for sure. But if you look up close, it's like really wrecked. There's like broken glass in the cockpit. You can see the seat's empty. That's really cool looking. And then there's the Falcon. Cool Falcon probably shot at it. Who knows? I don't know. Now one thing I do want to find out is in this other playset that I got, the Stormtrooper playset, sorry whoever I knocked over, there is a neat little flight thing. So we pull this open, ta-da, and we get this out. And let's see if the Millennium Falcon will attach. Let's see, will the Falcon attach and does it fly? Oh yeah, the Falcon flies. Look at that, it comes so close, right to the edge, and then up. That is cool. I like seeing the Falcon fly like this. This is really awesome. So these are just one of the sets. So let's take that, let's get on to the next set. I'm gonna put the Falcon off to the side here. Actually, before I move on, let's see if the TIE Fighter, the little broken one, will attach as well. I think he will. Oh yeah, broken TIE Fighter, flying through the sky. I don't know how it's flying, but he's a broken TIE Fighter. And he's flying everywhere, broken, broken. He broke, <sighs> he crashed right there. No and then he blows up. That's really awesome. I like it. This is These are really cool. Okay, what else we got? What's the next set? The next set I've got is the Desert Invasion. So I think the Desert Invasion is probably going to work with this, what I'm assuming is Jakku playset. So this comes with a Resistance X-Wing, not Rebels, because I guess they're not Rebels anymore. The Resistance X-Wing, Kylo Ren's Command Shuttle, and a Lugga Beast. I don't know what a Lugga Beast is, but it almost looks like it's part droid, part animal. And some, like, is that a Jawa writing it? I don't know, let's find out. Let's open this thing up and see what exactly. Again, let's open kind of from the bottom, maybe. It's neat to see Micro Machines on the packaging, but then also Disney and Hasbro all in one. That's like, it's amazing. It's really cool to like see that. The Star Wars and Disney and Disney owning all the best companies. 
it's just Marvel and they own Maker. So just even more love. It's really cool. I love it. All right, let's open this thing up. Let's put this guy off to the side. This, it literally is like a droid face on like an animal beast. You can see there's like live animal. It's got wrinkly skin, like it's some kind of animal. And there's, it's not a Jawa, but it's a weird little thing who's riding on it. But it's cool because it makes this place out a bit more fun. And then I've got a cool Resistance, not Rebel, but the Resistance X-Wing. And it, it's blue. It's like got blue on him. So he's really neat looking. Resistance X-Wing. That's pretty cool looking. We'll put that down like it landed. And then we've got Kylo Ren's shuttle. And this thing's got some tall, tall wings. I was watching earlier some of the unboxing videos that uh, Disney and Maker put together. And one of them showed the Lego set of, this, of Kylo Ren's shuttle. And these taller wings like actually fold down and go in. So it's not always this tall. And as you're moving the Lego thing, it actually pops up and attaches the taller extensions to the top. So it's like a weird, crazy looking freaky deaky shuttle. And let's put the freaky deaky shuttle right on top and let's make it fly around. Oh no, it didn't fly very well. All right, is that good, is that good? Let's see, will it fly? Will it fly? Oh yeah, he flies well. Check him out. Boom, that's really cool. I love it. I love it. These sets are awesome. Micro Machines is really taking me back. Like, it's cool to see all this neat Micro Machine stuff because I'll be able to play with the old stuff. I'll be able to play with the new stuff. And speaking of new stuff, this is something that I didn't see a whole lot of people buying when I was at Toys R Us earlier. And these are, it's a Micro Machines, it's like just a blind pack. Um, it's a Series 1. It just I think it's a vehicle of some kind. And it looks like it's going to span the uh, Star Wars universe. So it may not be from Episode 7, it might be from something else. Oh look, looks like I got just a classic, classic TIE Fighter here. Classic, oh, the old guy. Let's see if I can open him up. Oh, get him up. So this is just a regular TIE Fighter. That's cool, because I don't have, actually, I can probably use this with some of my other playsets, the older playsets. Let's take Kylo Ren's shuttle off of there. Pretty neat, and let's put the TIE Fighter. I wonder how this TIE Fighter stacks up to the new TIE Fighter. Size, how's the size? Just about the same, wings are just about the same. Yeah, it's like same sculpt, just different paint jobs. Hmm, interesting. Slightly different sculpt. Either way, that's pretty cool. So they're just about the same size, which means it should fly just about the same. Let's see, does he fly? Oh yeah, he flies. That's really cool. Ooh, he crashes really well too. He's gonna end up looking just like this one in a little bit. Oh, crash. That's awesome, I love it. I love it, all right, let's see what the last one is. And then we'll call it clips for this video. I've got another one. It's got these little nubbin thing here. You can just rip it right open. You don't have to use scissors. You don't gotta call your mom. Mom, help me. <gasps> yes! This is a really awesome one too. In fact, this will look really cool. Even though it's a little high in the sky. It is the land speeder. It's Luke Skywalker inside of a land speeder. Now, I never had this one in any of my old micro machine sets when I was a kid. So this is cool. It'd be nice if this thing worked. There it goes, almost. Cool, there we go. Let's use this. Let's see if I can make it go across the sky. No, it's not Tatooine, but that is still close enough. Oh, he does bottom out a little bit. He hits, or you can hear it, crunch. So he's gonna end up looking like that TIE Fighter too. Spoiler alert, that's what happens. Now I do think this crashed TIE Fighter is a little bit of a spoiler alert. I don't know exactly what happens in this set, but it was called a Desert Invasion. So at some point, we've all seen the preview now with the Millennium Falcon flying through all the, the junk and all the weird, you know, crazy rubble. And there's definitely TIE Fighters shooting at it or he's shooting at them. And I think this is the aftermath, is this little broken TIE Fighter thing. So I don't know, we'll see. We'll see exactly what happens in the movie. I can't wait. Let me know what you guys are most excited for. This is gonna wrap it up for the Micro Machines play sets that I'm doing on Force Friday. I'll probably be collecting more, be real, I really like these. So I'll probably be collecting more. Uh, let me know what you guys want to see me do next as far as the Micro Machines. You want to see a new set, or would you rather me open up one of these older sets? I've got the Slave One. I've got Darth Vader who turns into the Bestman Battle. I've got a TIE Fighter pilot that turns into the TIE Fighter Academy. All kinds of stuff. Let me know which Micro Machine set you guys want to see next and what you're most excited for in the new Star Wars movie. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Leave a big thumbs up. Share this for Force Friday. Tell all your friends. Look at all the cool toys. Subscribe to the Dano channel. I love having you guys here and I love hearing what you guys have to say. I do all kinds of crazy videos from toy unboxings, movie reviews, artwork, Disney Park stuff, 
It's all over the place. The Dano channel does whatever it wants and it's gonna keep doing all kinds of different crazy videos. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. I'm excited for Work Friday. That's all, I don't know what else to say. I'll see you in the next video. Love you guys, bye.